Could Dragon Ball Fighters inspire anime games back to their 2D prime time? What's going on everybody? So today I'd like to share with you guys my little thoughts of the future reception of Dragon Ball Fighters and then the aftermath of its sales and of its capabilities to beyond that point. Now firstly before I start I just want to clear this out of course for anyone that is new to this channel. I too am a hardcore Dragon Ball Z gamer long before I even heard the name Naruto and I nearly play them all from Taiketsu, Legacy of Goku, Burukai 1, 2, 3, Sagas, Tenkai, Ichi 1, 2, 3, Hyper DBZ, Shin Burukai back in the PSP, Rage Blast 1, 2, and so much more that I can say too much, don't you think? But back to fighters. As what we all know, Fighters is a 2D fighting game developed by Arc System Works, best known as for Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear. This is the first Dragon Ball 2D console game since First Limit in 2018. For 9 years, each Dragon Ball console game were into their 3D. I would like to say from 2009 to at least 2017 that this was an era of 3D anime fighters. During this timeline, it were the goal to show that games like Dragon Ball, Naruto, and much more wasn't intended to be developed in a 2D cycle because all the fans and casuals prefer 3D models. After Raging Blast 2, the Dragon Ball console era had been struggling to make another 3D game over the years until Xenoverse came along, although Xenoverse is more of a 3D fighter and is an MMORPG, which many fans of this community can admit they're not entirely pleased with this new change Xenoverse is. In Extreme Budotan made a return to the 2D gaming of Dragon Ball, but unfortunately it was only a Nintendo 3DS exclusive. But the developers of this game are the developers of Fighters, and that is once again Arc System Works. This team created Extreme Budutan as a test to see is it possible to bring a game such as this to the big consoles and PC. Now for those who haven't caught on to their current receptions, Arc System Works have received numerous rewards from E3, Gamescom, and much more. Not only that, they have already made an evil tournament and the game was only 20% done back then. And that's not to say that they had to delay their closed beta release date and signups because the hype was too overwhelming and they wanted to invite as much fans as they could for the weekend stress test. As much I can say you guys, this is the first Dragon Ball Z game to get this much recognition throughout their pre-release besides for the casuals. And I truly believe after the success of this game, there could be a possible chance to see more anime fighter games to be created in 2D. One thing about Dragon Ball as a whole, it always inspires many, many people over the years for the good and bad. For example, it inspires many manga artists of making their own storyline because of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball has indeed inspired many, many animes throughout their years. It unfortunately even inspires a lot of directors to make more mediocre anime films into a live action big screen. And just recently, we can now say that no other anime mobile game besides Dokkan had made so much downloads. And now after Dokkan Battle, there are so much more animes that are being made as a mobile game after Dokkan. Again, I truly believe after Fighters, there's gonna be teams of developers to be working on more anime games such as possibly Boku no Hero Academia, Hunter x Hunter, Tokyo Ghoul, Bleach, One Piece, Yu Yu Hakusho, or even Naruto depends if Shinobi Striker doesn't reach to their milestones of sales, investments, etc. So, when I see Fighters, I don't just see a fun game that I've been waiting for since the Budokai 3 or perhaps Bird's Limit days, but I see it as hope. Hope that is this game can inspire many more developers to make more anime gaming projects into a 2D fighter. 
We've been in the 3D cycle for nearly a decade now for the consoles and also PCs and I say it's time for a change. Especially the fact that these recent 3D anime games such as J-Stars, Burning Blood, and even some of the Naruto Storm installments that couldn't reach up to the many fans' satisfaction. So I hope for those who are just looking forward just to play the games into the excitement of not just only story um, or online or anything else, but just give it a try as if it's something new to the table. Yes, we've been through to the table of 2D anime games, but I think if we go on as even for the casuals to get their hands on this game, this could potentially bring up to the fact that we could possibly get more 2D anime games. And I think, once again, if we get one of those games such as, once again, Boku no Hero, Bleach, One Piece, Tokyo Ghoul, etc, 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 it will go to show that fighters have reached up to the point where it inspired more developers to bring back 2D fighting game to the point. And I think with that, that would also revive many, and I mean many, anime gaming communities. Instead of just for people just to follow Dragon Ball um, gaming communities or follow the Dragon Ball or Naruto YouTubers, they can finally get to follow the Bleach gaming community, the Boku no Hero gaming community, or even anyone that likes to play it all together. And that will bring up the anime gaming community twice more than it is than what we're seeing right now. But I want you guys to tell me what you guys think could fighters bring up to the point in the future that they'll be more like this or possibly not. Let me know what you guys think. Once again, I truly believe it will reach up to the excitement and we could see more 2D anime games into the future. But once again, let me know down in the comment section below and hopefully within 2018 or 2019 or beyond, 2D anime games could bring back by popular demand. But thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you need, feel free to subscribe. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>